and we couldn't really understand why that was uh, why that was happening. This thing is more connected than we ever thought, and we were hoping to call attention to this problem with the Judiciary Committee. Uh, although nothing's uh, nothing's happened, and no questions have been asked to Gonzalez. Gonzalez was a former uh, partner with uh, Vincent Elkins, the firm out of Texas. Uh, Vincent Elkins is repre representing Novation in our case. Novation right here, they have this scheme basically for inflating prices. How are they doing it? And I see, looking at the notes that I have, that George Bush's cousin was involved in writing the code and is somehow involved with the company that was used to create the code for automatically or computer compu through computer manipulation to uh, inflate and overcharge in these things. Is this really something which is going on at the bottom of this investigation? Well, Tom, that's something that uh, Tom Flacco has uh, has uncovered under from the uh, uh, his intelligence uh, personnel that that he gets information from. Yeah, I mean, if you know, it's similar to any type of electronic system. Uh, they're easy to manipulate, and when you're talking about uh, 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 billing systems for hospitals and and reconciling. Uh, 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 procedures and things of that nature, yeah, it's real easy to, uh, you know, somebody goes in for one procedure, uh, it's, it's very easy to, uh, you know, calculate three or four or five different other procedures uh, that coincide with that procedure, and uh, for all intents and purposes, nobody would ever know. In fact, that's what a lot of the Medicare and Medicaid fraud uh, investigations go after uh, are the fraud that's being committed by the billing of those hospitals. You mean it's not some poor homeless person trying to get a double prescription? You mean they're actually going after, going after uh, overcharging here? Let's go back just a second to the U.S. Attorney's office that this went through. Uh, two people showed up dead. What happened to the U.S. Attorney himself? Is he still in business, or was he one of those that was replaced in this purge that's going on now? I, that was that wasn't clear earlier. The U.S. attorneys were, were prosecuting Medicare and Medicaid fraud, and, and Todd Graves was, in fact, prosecuting fraud. In fact, there's cases uh, on the, you know, there, there's record of, of uh, Mr. Uh, Graves prosecuting Medicare and Medicaid fraud here locally. Again, was prosecuting Medicare and Medicaid fraud with Tenet. So the connection here is that uh, many of these U.S. attorneys um, that we're finding out were investigating Medicare and Medicaid fraud, they were, in fact, pushed out. And, uh, of course, when Todd Graves was, uh, was pushed out, then uh, Bradley Schlossman was, was uh, put in, and I had actually filed uh, complaints with the FBI office with regard to my case and the, and the corruption uh, with the Novation prosecution. Uh, and I never received word from the Department of Justice, the FBI, or anybody for that matter. Uh, it was basically just uh, uh, nothing was ever uh, nothing was ever sent to me. No comment. No no response uh, whatsoever. And uh, in fact, I even uh, went as far as to bring the attention of our case to uh, the McClatchy paper, Kansas City Star. Uh, nothing, nothing was ever written about it. Nothing was ever written about anything. The only, the only publication that uh, was brave enough to write something was the, uh, uh, what the FW Weekly, the uh, Pablo Lastra, uh, wrote a real nice piece. Uh, I believe it was in 05, Thanksgiving of 05, with regard to how Novation uh, kept uh, people out of, or other companies with innovative products out of the market and how they repeatedly did that. It wasn't just an isolated incident. Uh, Novation has been sued on several occasions by different companies that bring innovative products to healthcare but can't get their product to the hospital because Novation sits there as a middleman and you either pay the, you know, you either play ball with Novation or your product doesn't get to the market. And that's really in a sense what, what I'm in, encountering. Uh, except mine is in the way of technology rather than the way of a particular uh, product. The part of the fraud that I'm going after is the fact that they keep innovative technologies out of the market that can eliminate costs and create greater efficiencies. Now, innovation will swear up and down they create efficiencies, but the efficiencies that they create are artificially created in the first place. So what they say they're creating an efficiency uh, with is artificial to start with. So it's just, it's you know, it's a smoke and mirrors game that they play with the 
with the public, the the U.S. Uh, health care system, uh, and, you know, nobody seems to want to do anything about it other than these companies that were kept out of the market with innovative products. Half a trillion dollars in overcharges is pretty good smoke and mirrors in my book. Sam LaFar, yeah. you've opened up quite a large can of worms. Hopefully, uh, you know, somebody's going to take an interest in this, and we're all wondering why when they question Mr. Gonzalez. These questions haven't come out either, and... Uh, we're going to talk to you again on this. This story seems like it's developing, and we're very interested in hearing more. Sam Lepar, thank you so much for joining us on INN, and we're going to talk again soon. Thank you.